everybody, here's a first look at the Arternal page for making a day using the supplies from the Mixed Media Inspired subscription. I'm working in my Large Dilutions Art Journal and I'm spraying two different colors of Lindy's Starburst sprays onto my nonstick craft sheet. And then I'm picking up those sprays with my stamp and covering my background. Now, because these are sprays and I'm using the stamp, I'm not going to get a 100% perfect impression. It's going to be very watercolory, very loose. And that is what I'm wanting to create. So I'm happy with the coverage of what I have here. Now I'm using two different stamp sets, Tim Holtz Leaf Prints 1 and 2. And I'm just putting those stamps down into the spray and then putting them onto my background to get a very loose watercolory type impression from the stamps. And then to finish, I'm also flicking a little bit of the Lindy spray so that I get drips all over the background and I will allow that to dry. After everything's dry, I'm grabbing a stencil, a palette knife, and distressed texture paste. And this is the translucent version. And I'm just going to spread that right through the stencil with a palette knife. To continue that pattern over my entire page, I'm just going to match up one edge with the stencil so that it overlaps what I've previously done. And so then as I continue to put paste down, my pattern is perfectly lined up and I'm going to cover the entire background and set this aside to dry. While the texture paste is drying, I'm grabbing a couple sh loose sheets of cardstock and I'm spraying several colors of the Lindy Starburst spray directly onto the cardstock. And then I'm going to let that dry before I grab a stamp set and begin stamping with archival ink onto the paper. So I'm going to end up creating a bunch of these stamps and cut them out so that I have pieces to collage on my background. The names of the products I'm using and all the colors are listed in the description below, so check that out for more information. Now after the background is dry and I've cut out all of these leaves, I can begin gluing them down on my background with a distressed collage medium. I like to use distressed collage medium when I'm doing any kind of paper piecing as this glue dries very quickly. It has an instant bond. So when I place down my leaves, I know that they're going to not slide around like a lot of other glues. It's going to be exactly where I put it. I commit and I'm happy with it. If you tend to want to have a little bit more of lift, decide, and fussy, then you should use Dina Weekly Media Ultra Thick Gel Medium for this step. After all the leaves are in place and dried, I'm grabbing a piece of 49 and Market Music Blend Rub-Ons and my Remnant Rub Tool to place these sporadically over the leaves and the background. And I'm not doing a perfect transfer of any of these rub-ons, so you'll see that I'm just doing little bits and lifting. To begin the foundation of my collage, I'm using a piece from the Tim Holtz Ideology Transparent Things. All the elements in this pack are on printed acetate, which means they will be semi-transparent. So as I glue this down, you're going to see the leaves actually coming through it, which is a really cool element for building collage, as it adds a lot of interest and layering. Next, I'm just going to glue down two of the leaves that I had previously from my background. They were left over, so I'm adding those into the collage as well. I like to reuse and repeat elements to have it be cohesive throughout my entire project. Next, I'm using pieces from the Stamperia R-Way Paper Ephemera. All of Stamperia's paper ephemeras are adhesive backed, so they work exactly like stickers. You just peel the backing off. I like to do it with my scissors, just slightly lift it, and then stick them down on my page. I'm also using a sticker from the Tim Holtz Ideology Clippings book. And then I'm using some Finnabar liquid acrylic and mixing it with water to make it more fluid. I'm blocking off areas of my collage where I don't want any of these paint drops to go. And then I'm just going to scoop up some of that with my palette knife and flick it onto the page so I have droplets of color all over my background. And when I'm happy with it, I'll remove the paper towel. And to finish, I'm using some Stickles glitter to just have little dots of glitter around my collage. And with that, my page is complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some ideas to use in your own artwork. I'd love to see what you're making, so take a picture and post it using hashtag ArtJournalJunction. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our mixed media and art journaling videos in the future.